We are at Hard Schlock Stadium, home of the Crack Engine in Diami, Florida. A city where the temperature is over 100 and the IQ is in the low teens <laughs> at best. Then don't poke fun at the fans. They're loyal. Therapists call it delusional. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Nashville Lycans battle. The Diami Krakens. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones. Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. <laughs> Stud bricks. Yeah, tell him me. Nice run. No, I mean he's a real stud. He works at the mutant stud farm weekends and summers. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Third and two. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's from... Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. He's at the 30. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. There's a funny red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. First and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. 
First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball. To, and he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Why refs are hated even more than kickers? <laughs> well, there's your answer, Briggs. I know, I hate those zebra men. <laughs> Second down and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two, eight. It was a risky throw in the defense. Oh, man, he really... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> and it's first and ten. up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must... Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this act, Grim. Second and three. Hot, hot one. Two. Hot. Hot. And the cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. <laughs> Third down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skip. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Defense gets another pick. Man, he is fighting for every yard. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
It's a four yard gain. Second down and six. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed cleat. Third down and long. A nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. And he's running like a moose right now. Now they all... Schmelzer. First down and one. Second down and seven. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Third down and the punter is warming up. He's got his beast boost working. The player just tripped. It's a six yard game. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, three. The quarterback is getting mauled out there. <laughs> Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Is this one of those new good at running quarterbacks I keep hearing about? It doesn't seem like it. <laughs> you know, some 
sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and he's going to try and score. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. Third down and, well, good luck. Caught for the first down. First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And that'll be second and eight to go. destruction in his path and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down see a man from prison just came out of the field it's the ref idiot oh. let's see what the penalty is You never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than comp. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. pick up there second down and six he just put that guy out of his misery and says who's next the offense lost 
it's another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby Blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And oh, what a brutal hit! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a bigger page. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, this 
This is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Second down and a lot. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. And the quarterback throws another pick. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. Second down and more than the QB would like. The QB looks angry at his offensive line, and I can't blame him. You are dirty as a butter Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Hey, have you seen my beer? And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and seven. Perfect pass and a score. You can tell this one must have gestated and burst forth from the chest of a wonderful chorus dancer. <laughs> now 
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. And he lets fly with the bomb! And he breaks away! Oh, with the brain scrambler! First and ten. When you hear the sounds of bones snapping like that, Grim, you assume the worst. I assume that it was even worse than what you may have assumed. I assume you're right. Yeah! First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's another turnover for the defense. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... It's good. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And the QB might as well just bury the pick up of... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Second down and seven. And with another pick, the QB says, oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Well, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Hot one, hot two. Eight. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust! In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way! Oh, sure, now catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team. There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> First and two. I don't know whose eyes the QB is. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Graham. He's in. He's running out of gas now. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. <laughs> Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. <laughs> <laughs> comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. When it's your time to go, it's your time. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback and the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. I know how the 
Lewis that never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. down and never going to happen. <laughs> well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice catch. And it turns up. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. First down! He was not going to drop that one. It looks like we've got a penalty here. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's all those poetic rings! What the high cool! And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. The worm swallows him whole and goes down like the last shot of whiskey in an Irish wake. You know, my wife went to Scotland. She came home with a Scottish steak worm. Not a big eater, though, so that's good. More of a drink, really. I was stopped by 18 year old McCallum the other morning at the breakfast table. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player.
Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. With me, you get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will fly. And he's off to the races. The ten. Touchdown! for two. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. He got blown to shit. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. He refuses to go down. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And it's first and ten. And that's a nice run for a first down. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he really wants it! Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him! First and eight to go. Does the QB know which team he's on? Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> First and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And then Cats will give them a first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. He picks up nine yards on that catch. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. And that'll bring up second and one. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, 
scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And that'll bring up third and one. And the quarterback throws another pick. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Either way, they're going for two. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. <laughs> And that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he punt. I don't know whose eyes. Man, what a. Uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. 
And that's like stepping in fresh dog dude. That's not a kick you put on the resume. And it's first and ten. hit on the receiver and jars the ball loose. Second down and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. We're deadlocked with a tie score at the end of the fourth, and that can mean only one thing. Stay tuned, because what the hell could be more important right now? Well, now that you mention it, Grim, I really need to hit the can. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, uh, Grandma, I didn't understand any of this. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feed of teams should get a participation award because you know, I try really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off.